welcome back to my channel um i'm so excited today it's it's like i'm bursting with excitement i'm so excited today because today i am announcing the launch of a new brand called empowered womanhood which is coming next week the 4th of january 2022 now um here's the thing tonight i'm going to be sharing well this is night tonight today <laughs> it's night i'm going to be talking about um how to be an empowered woman the last two years has shown us a lot <laughs> the last two years have been hard you know we've all lost somebody or um the fact that some, some of us the fact that we're standing today is a miracle and there's so much going on in the world but i realized this that you know empowerment is for all so a little bit of a backstory about me. Um, I became a doctor in 2001. Yes, I've been a doctor for almost for what, 20 years. And in 2015, I entered into the life coaching space to be able to do more for more people. Um, using all my gifts and talents to, like I said, do more for more people. And as I started, you know, I didn't, I didn't know a lot about being a life coach. I just thought, okay, well, you know, I'm certified now. But over time, my brand evolved to where I got to a point where I was coaching almost exclusively physicians. But I've come full circle and we're back. We're back to coaching professional women, not just in medicine, but all professional women who want to create an optimum life for themselves. So this is what Empowered Womanhood is all about. Now, I'm going to be talking today on how to be, how to be an empowered woman and in none of my points includes fighting with other people or claiming to be something that you are or you are not it just it's really about knowing the power that you have within you standing firm in it and using it to help yourself and help your world that is the bottom line Empowered Womanhood launches on the 4th of January. So you want to check back here and I will be um, giving you some in information on the day of launch as to where to find Empowered Womanhood online, of course. And Empowered Womanhood is going to have it all. We're going to have private coaching. We're going to have groups. We're going to have classes. We're going to have um, a video library. Above all, though, we're going to have community because true empowerment comes when we as women reach out to empower other women. So I'm going to share with you six tips on how to be an empowered woman. Number one, disbelieve disempowering narratives about your gender. That's the first thing you have to do. You have to disabuse your mind of the notion that there is something wrong with your gender as compared to men, right? Disbelieve disempowering narratives about your gender. That's the best thing that you can do for yourself to start. How many of us um, limit ourselves just because of the disempowering narratives that we believe about women in general? You even hear women saying these things. Well, women can't lead. Yes, there's still some women who believe that, oh, they have to be led by men. No, women are just as good and capable as men. Women can't do this. Women can't do that. Women can't do the other. It's time for you to start disbelieving those disempowering narratives about your gender because they don't help you to become empowered, of course. Because guess what? The more you, dis the more you believe disempowering narratives about your gender, the more disempowered you become. Start to disabuse your mind of those notions. Start to look for evidence against those disempowering narratives that you may have heard. I'm not even going to go into all of them because all of us have, as women have heard one or more of these disempowering narratives from when we were uh, just uh, a little kid. Number two, associate with empowered women, not living with narratives that promote self-hate. You see, in a lot of ways, Self-hate is the thing that stops us in our tracks. We don't like ourselves as women. Our, when I say selves, not our, as a group. Associate with women who do not live with self-hating narratives. It's very powerful because what happens is that the things around you, the more you look at something, the more you start to become that thing. The more you disbelieve disempowering narratives and you start to associate with empowered women who are not living 
with narratives that promote self-hate, the more you too will start to become empowered as you go along. Number three, embrace self-love as a tool to elevate. Now here's the deal. People are always talking about self-love, 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 self-love. Let me tell you something about self-love. Self-love is not just a, a buzzword. It is actually a tool. You know how um, they talk about uh, Martin Luther King, I believe, said, only love can drive out hate. Let me tell you something. Only self-love can drive out self-hate. You cannot hate yourself into a version of yourself that you can love. So you embrace self-love, love of self as a tool to elevate. Because guess what will happen when you love yourself? When you love yourself, you will improve yourself. When you love yourself, you will, you will take care of your own needs. When you love yourself, you will prioritize your hopes, your dreams, and your ambitions. You will prioritize your own empowerment when you love yourself. All that inner work cannot come from a place of self-hate. So embrace self-love as a tool to elevate as opposed to self-hate because only self-love can drive out self-hate. Number four, step into your personal radiance. Ah, women, if only you knew how amazing you are, how great you are, how important you are, you will wear it like an armor. You would wear it like a jacket. Now, I'm not talking about walking around bragging. No, that's not the point. The point is that when you know, when you know that you know that you're already great, that you're already perfect, that you're already aligned, that you're already, you know, that you're already there, maybe waiting for a few things to manifest, that you are enough, you will carry yourself differently. And how do you step into your personal radiance? You know, get to know you so that you can love you and do you, baby. Like they say, do you, boo. Yes, you don't have to be like everyone else. That's why I said, step into your personal radiance. Now, radiance doesn't mean being flashy or showy. This is something, this is something that comes from the inside of you. And all of, everybody has radiance. Just some of us are, haven't stepped into it yet. And that's one of the things we're going to be doing in Empowered Womanhood. Stepping together, stepping into our light, stepping into our radiance. Step into your personal radiance. That's how to be an empowered woman. Now, number five. I hate to break it to you, but not everybody is going to cheer for your, your more empowered self. Because an empowered person is not easy to cage. An empowered person is not easy to keep down. An empowered person is not easy to, to break. So guess what you're going to do? You're going to be prepared for the resistance and rise to the challenge. Because you can. Of course you can. Think about it as a woman. You've risen to more challenges than that. So what's stopping you now? Be prepared. Be prepared for people not understanding you. But be prepared for people looking at you and saying things like, you've changed. By the way, when pe people say to me, you've changed, I'm like, what do you expect? Do you expect me to be the same that I was when I was 19? Of course not. Because if that's the case, then I would have wasted, that means I've wasted 20 something years of my life. Or how many ever years ago I was, it was when I was 19. <laughs> be prepared for resistance and rise to the challenge. And that is why you need a community. Okay, because when you go out in the world and you feel people don't understand you, etc., etc., and you need an emotional safe space, you need to be able to come back into your community with the with the resistance and challenges that have been put in front of you. You need to be able to come back and vent and process and decompress within your community. That's why we need a community, and that's why empowered womanhood is going to be very much community based rather than personal coaching based. Now, number six, help other women find their voice. There's just something so beautiful about women growing together, collaborating together in community. Let me tell you something about, there's this narrative that goes around that women hate each other. Let me tell you something, that is a lie. That is one of the disempowering narratives about your gender. That well, women don't like each other. That's such, that's not true. But guess what? If I tell my daughter that women don't like each other, of course she's going to grow up with a chip on her shoulder and then she's not going to like other women. 
And then she's going to look around and think other women don't like her. Can you see how these cycles get created from disempowering narratives that are simply not true? Let me tell you something. Women are evolved for collaboration and not competition. Even just from an evolutionary biology hunter-gatherer standpoint, which I'm not going to go into. I'm not going to go into all of that right now. Help other women find their voice. It's so important because... There's a saying that goes, as we let our light shine, we unconsciously give others permission to do the same. Help other women find their voice. So I, I'm going to pre-welcome you to Empowered Womanhood and I'm going to recap how to be an empowered woman. Number one, disbelieve disempowering narratives about your gender. Number two, associate with empowered women who do not live with narratives of self-hate. There, there are some people, again, I was just recapping, but there are some women who on the surface, they seem like they're empowered, but really they're just gatekeepers of the patriarchy. And let's, let's, let's leave that for now. <laughs> Number three, embrace self-love as a tool to elevate because only self-love can drive out self-hate. Number four, step into your personal radiance. Number five, be prepared for resistance. Rise and rise to the challenge with your community at your back. And number six, last but not the least, help other women find their voice. So with that, I bid you adieu and I'll see you next week where I'll be telling you more juicy details about how you too can join the company of Empowered Womanhood. See you next time.